My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the 4th of August, we celebrate the feast of St. John Mary Vianney, the patron saint of the parish priests and of the diocesan clergy. However, during the year of the priest in 2009-2010, Pope Benedict XVI declared him as the patron saint of all the priests of the world. He was born on the 8th of May, 1786, in a village called Daradili in France. He was the fourth child of six children of Matthew Vianney and Marie. During his childhood, he experienced the spirit of the French Revolution and its anti-religious and clergy attitude. However, the family was devout and they would go to the farm to celebrate mass and sacraments in secret with the priests. This inspired the desire in Vianney to become a priest and be a hero for God. In 1802, Pope Pius VII and Napoleon made an agreement because of which religious practice was granted once again in France. And it was this time that he wanted to become a priest. He went to Father Bailey, the pastor of a coolie in the next town, to ask for admission. Father Bailey already had three students, was not willing to take but when his brother-in-law told that you must at least meet Vianney, Father Belli met him and was so impressed that he took him and promised to help him by making sacrifices no matter the cost. And in that way, Vianney began his education. But in 19, 1809, he was recruited into the army of Napoleon. This interrupted his formation. However, he, before he could be given an assignment, he got sick and was hospitalized, and he missed the assignment. After his recovery, he was taken to another place for assignment. But as he visited on the way a chapel to pray, his group left him behind. A young boy of his age agreed to take him to the group but instead led him to a deep mountain region where there were other deserters who escaped from the army and there he lived for 14 months. During this period, though uneducated, he took initiative to educate the poor village boys. In 1810, the king gave amnesty to all the deserters, and so Vianney returned to Ekuli to continue his priestly formation. He was not good at Latin, philosophy, and theology, and could not pass the exam. But the insistence of Father Belli made the vicar general to ordain him a deacon in 1815, 23rd June, just five days after the famous Battle of Waterloo. And few months later, he was ordained a priest and was appointed to be assistant to Father Belly. In December 1817, Father Belly died and Vianney had no place to go. So the vicar general sent him to Arts with the instruction that the people there had no love of God. Go and put love of God into their hearts. Vianney went and on the way he asked the shepherd the road to, Ar to Arts. And when the boy told him 
he said, you have shown me the road to ours. I will show you the road to heaven. That was his faith and confidence in God. There he found the church empty, the people dancing and drinking and enjoying life. He began praying alone, making penances and asking the Lord to give him any suffering so that his people may get converted. And after 10 long years, slowly the village changed and by 1827, people from the neighboring villages started coming to arts to get counsel, advice from John Mary Vianney. It was said that between 1830 to 1859, on daily basis, an average of 400 people would come to Arts to make their confession to the cure of Arts. The French government had to make a new railway from Lyon to Arts for this purpose. The daily routine of Father Vianney was simple. At one o'clock in the morning, he gets up early. The church is already lighted with people queuing for confession. He would kneel in front of the altar, then go to the confessional till the time of the mass. And after the mass, he would listen to the confession again. And in that way, till 11 o'clock, he would be there for a catechism, after which he would go for a short lunch and then come back to the church to hear the confession and let at night retire to rest. The last 10 years of his life, he spent almost 18 to 20 hours at the confessional. That affected his health and on the 4th of August, 1859, he passed away after receiving the last sacrament. In 1873, he was made servant of God. In 1905, he was made blessed. And in 1925, he was canonized as a saint. Today, his body is in Karap and is placed in the newly built Basilica of Arts in a steel coffin. The life of St. John Mary Vianney is truly inspiring. During one of his catechism class, he said, if people want to destroy religion, they'll attack the priests. Because if there is no priest, there is no sacrifice. And if there is no sacrifice, there is no religion. In the time of pandemic, COVID-19, the words of St. John Mary Vianney is an inspiration. We are not able to go for sacrifice of the mass. Perhaps it's an attack from the evil one. Let us pray so that we may be healed of this pandemic and that we may have the grace and the freedom to attend the holy sacrifice of the Mass and practice our faith. May St. John Mary Vianney intercede for you.